Third Grade Reading, Unit 10, Week 2, Day 2. Compare and Contrast Fables. We can compare and contrast different fables to see how they are alike and different. We can analyze characters, plot elements, and the morals presented. To compare and contrast stories, we will look for information in both texts. Remember today's story, The Wolf and the Sheep? We're going to compare and contrast today's story to the one we read yesterday called The Bat and the Weasel. To organize our thinking, we will use this graphic organizer. We're going to look at how does the fable begin, some details from the stories, how the fable ends, and the lesson or moral from each of the fables. Let's get started. When we think about how the bat and the weasel began, we can recognize that the bat falls to the floor. Remember that was the first thing that happened in that story? Think back to the wolf and the sheep. What was the first thing that happened in that story? That's right, a pack of dogs chase a wolf away from chickens. Then the wolf twists his leg, but he was able to escape. Let's remember some of the story details from the bat and the weasel. A weasel pounces on the bat and says that weasels always eat bats. The bat tells the weasel that he is really a mouse. The weasel believes him and lets him go. The same bat falls to the ground the next day and a second weasel pounces on him and says that weasels always eat mice. The bat says that he's not a mouse, he's a bat. Let's think about the story details from the wolf and the sheep. The wolf meets a sheep and asks the sheep for help. He asks the sheep for water. The wolf says that if the sheep will get him some water, the sheep will never go hungry again, but the sheep knows that means the wolf will eat him because wolves like to eat sheep. Let's think about the ending of each of these fables. In the bat and the weasel, the confused weasel lets the bat go. So the bat actually escapes harm twice in our story. In the wolf and the sheep, the sheep does not help the wolf at the end. Let's think about the lesson or moral that we can learn from each of these stories. The lesson or moral we can learn from the bat and the weasel is that we can remember always to make the best of a bad situation. And in the wolf and the sheep, we can remember that selfish lies are simple to see. So when we organize our information this way, it helps us stop and think about how these two stories or two fables are alike and how they're different. Let's look at a few ways that they, we can compare and contrast these two stories. Both fables involve a good character and a bad character. In one fable, the good character, the bat, tricks the bad character, the weasel. In the other fable, the bad character, the wolf, tries to trick the good character, the sheep. In both fables, there is a more clever character. Remember, it was the bat and the sheep. And in both fables, one character wants to eat the other character. Remember, the weasel and the wolf. So today, we compared and contrasted two fables, one called the bat and the weasel and one called the wolf and the sheep. We found similarities and differences between characters, the plot, and the morals.